This podcast contains strong language. Listener discretion is advised. Let's write a movie. The podcast. Hey, welcome to the podcast, I'm Paul. I'm Ron. And this is Let's Write a Movie. And it's season two, baby. It is? Yeah. So let's get right into it. Let's get stuck in there, lad. Rowan, you know what to do. Okay, hold me close. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh yeah, picking up the... <laughs> yeah. Right, so we've got the box of treats, yep. which is set up conflict resolution genre, and, lo- and a new one, location. Location, location, location. So which side do I start from? Set up? Yeah, yeah, it's still That makes sense. Setup. That's what we used to do. Mm. <laughs> I'm out of uh, practice. Right, here we go. First one is... Set up is... Has fallen in love with the postman. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Oh, watch out, postman. There's a, there's watch a dog. Out, postman. There's a dog about. Postman's. Yeah. We are officially using enemy. live sound effects. This is, yeah. Like that was the <laughs> first use. Conflict yeah. gets turned down by love interest. Ooh, oh. You could postman. say they shut the door. The postman. Yes. <laughs> This postman's got standards. Yeah. Resolution. <laughs> that goes together really well. <laughs> yeah. Twist ending. Oh, yes. Oh, that's that's very broad. That's good. <laughs> got some room to play. Romantic comedy, I'm hoping for. <laughs> Genre. Crime. Oh. Ah, we can tell it's the ending. And the location. <laughs> is Newcastle. <laughs> <laughs> Conveniently, you know, yeah. it's not like we haven't, set, we haven't set kind 10 of, sh- of them in Newcastle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, set yeah. up, has fallen in love with the postman. Now, who has fallen in love with the postman? It's up to you. How about Giles Crickleworth? Giles Crickleworth. He's a former cricketer. Ah. Who lives <laughs> on the corner house of a leafy London, no, Newcastle suburb. Yes. You almost all straight away ruined the uh, location. Okay. <laughs> so we've got ja- okay. so he's like a he's like a posh Geordie like Sting. Yeah. Um he's a former what was he? Former teacher. A former say. cricketer. He cricketer said. who went yeah. into teaching. Ah. Who's a pretty teacher. Well then you know, that- unless you play international cricket or twenty twenty, it's you're not gonna make a lot of money. And that's what he found and he mm. actually got into teaching. Did mm. I just say that? Yes. Another another <laughs> uh Profession where you don't make a ton of money. <laughs> yes, but it's a steady income. It's a steady income. You can rely on that income. And you get six weeks off over. Yeah, and he, did, he taught a bit of geography as well. Oh. He used to play the spoons. Oh, okay. Sometimes he'd bring the spoons out in class. Yeah. And play them on his thigh. <laughs> so he was a bit of a char- he's a bit of a character, old uh, Giles. Yeah. Um, okay, so we've got the setup. Yeah. We've got the character. Yes. Now Giles is now seventy-seven. Oh blimey! He's long retired. Yeah. He's quite lonely. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, his wife died 32 years ago. Ah. She fell off a cruise ship. <laughs> in the on, the, ad- on their 30th in, anniversary. Yes, in the <laughs> Adriatic Sea. Yeah. So since then, he's not really had any uh, more relationships. Yeah. He's just tended his garden, done a bit of cricket, but he can't play anymore. He's a bit too old. Yeah. Um, let's see. So, yeah, he basically does a lot of gardening. <laughs> <laughs> And he doesn't have much contact, so say the guy comes to read his gas meter, he's like, oh yeah, do you want a cup of tea? Actually, no, he's from I'll, I'll just pop the kettle on. We'll just pop the kettle on. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> Another sound effect. So, that, you know, any opportunity to have a bit of a chin wag and, yeah. sh- and you know, have some socialisation, he's there. Yeah. So, this leads us to his postman. Yeah. His postman is 21. No, that's a bit weird. Uh, yeah, that's a big age <laughs> That's not going on there. So his postman yeah. is called Jonathan Edwards. It's okay. the former long jumper who's from that neck of the woods. Yeah. Um, coincidentally. <laughs> Again, he's not been able to get any... Since he retired, there's no jobs that require him to jump yeah. like long distances. Mm. So he's like, well, what do I do? So anyway... It's all I know. That's <laughs> all I know. So he, um, he's now a postman. Yeah. Um, but he, I mean, 
Not that he needs to jump much, but sometimes he does, like mm. jump over. But, but just for old time's sake, you're like, you know, jump say over. there was a group of dogs. <laughs> yes, he, he would jump need, over them. Yeah, he would need to jump away. Or jump over a fence. Jump over a fence. Actually, he wasn't a high jumper, though. But he could still jump. Oh, you know, a long jumper would still. But he did a bit. Of, yeah, he did a bit of that when he was yeah. coming up. He, he tried mm. all. He tried all of them really, and then yeah. the one that fit best was long jump. Mm. He went and he and that's where. He, and then he won a gold medal, didn't he? He did. He was a good jumper. <laughs> so, uh, Jonathan Edwards, he um, he's been doing the job what for what, ten years. Um, they've struck up a good um, relationship, and he's been doing that same round for 10 years. Oh, yeah. He's been delivering to Giles yeah. for a long time. And because Giles comes from a sporting background, they've got a bit of a, uh, you know, that that in common yeah. rapport. They talk about sports, you know, this, that. Uh, mm. Jonathan likes to regale him with his tales of Atlanta 96 and all, <laughs> and all the exploits he got up to with Linford Christie, etc. Steve yeah. Backley, uh, Fatima Whitbread, she was a right one. Um, apparently, he he can't talk, stop talking about her. Yeah, <laughs> and all the others. And uh, so this has been going on for ten years now. Yeah. And old Giles, he's slowly realised that he's falling for Jonathan. Oh wow! And he's like, "What's this? What's this feeling? <laughs> I'm feeling it for a man. I've not felt this since I, I met Doris at that dance in 1961, and now I've got it for this young Jonathan." I'm confused. He is good sounds it. But I enjoy this feeling and I enjoy Jonathan's company, so I'm not going to refute it. Mm. Anyway, so he's just finished his teeth. He's just he's talking to himself in the mirror. Yeah. And he's just <laughs> spits his stuff out. Yeah. Ding dong. Oh, speak oh. of the devil. Oh, angel, should I say? <laughs> and he pops, and he pops down. He runs down the stairs like a sprightly teenager. Yeah. Is that you, Jonathan? Jonathan. Is that you? Yes. Yes, Giles, I've got a parcel for you. Yeah, I can oh. do that. Oh, I'll sorry. be Jonathan. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> Remember, he's from the North East. Oh, yeah, man. I've got, <laughs> pa- got a parcel <laughs> for you. He's <laughs> a posh Jordy. What's a posh Jordy? Sting. Uh, <laughs> I, I can't... What's okay. Sting's voice? <laughs> sorry. Just put up. So, yeah. Um, is that you, Jonathan? Oh, hey, man. <laughs> You got a parcel for me? Hey, I got it here. It's a big one. Ooh. So put the kettle on. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> okay. okay, one second. It's one of these new, It's a really fast boiler, this kettle. Do you mind if I quickly use the toilet? Help yourself. There's a flannel on exit. Thanks. Oh, Jonathan. Oh, that'll eat good. Thanks for that. <laughs> so it comes out easy, easy tea, Jonathan. Oh, thank you very much. And he opens up the parcel. Yeah. And it's not relevant to the story. So we move on. Okay. And uh, they're, they're getting to know each other. Yeah, they get to know. Level. Yeah. So yeah. he's like, oh, what's that? It's a book. Sorry. So Jonathan asks what it is. Oh, what's it about? It's about the Civil War, the English Civil War. Oh, hi. Were you a part of that, were you? <laughs> no, Jonathan, it was quite a while back. Oh, I but see. But a few, few hundred years back, I believe. That. Well, oh, I best read the book. <laughs> well, you can have it after me if you want. Oh, hey, thank you. It, I'll lend it to you. Um, now, Jonathan, I know this is I don't, you know, this is going to be awkward, and I know you're married with four kids. <laughs> but, you know, sometimes I see you coming up the drive, and I see, you, like, you, you know, you like to jump over the rosemary bush sometimes. And I just marvel at your... Your elegance in flight. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, and the thing is, I think you've got a great personality. Oh, aye. You're very kind. And I'm a, a lonely old man. So what it is... Oh, look, I think I love you, Jonathan. <laughs> you do? I basically, I just had to get it out and tell you because it's been eating me up. Every morning when I brush my teeth, I'll have a good conversation with myself where I describe my feelings for you to myself. But I was, but I need to describe I it need to, to you. St- I need face to stop to face. you there. I'm very flattered, like, but oh, I don't even know. Me, uh, I got my wife and my kids. I know, I did think that. And you know, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm probably not gay. You're not okay, because I, <laughs> I wasn't sure, totally sure. Oh, I don't know. You never know, but from what I can tell, it. So you, you don't know, fancy just a bit of slap and tickle. I'm gonna pass for now. <laughs> Fair enough. But I still want to. I don't want to. Thing is, I don't want to jeopardise what we've got here. Oh, right, yeah, 
Yeah, we got a great friendship. Yeah. One of our main friends, and... I just... Uh, the way you deliver parcels, and le- letters especially, you've got a, such a oh, got, deft touch. I got a knack for it. <laughs> the speed at which they come through that letterbox. Oh. When you insert... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this has got my face. But the way you... Sometimes you, I see your fingers come through as well. Hmm. As well as the letter. <laughs> <laughs> and oh. you've just got a majesty to your movement in all areas and but I understand oh. where you're coming from hey hey um now should we have this cup of tea oh yes let's have a cup of tea try and just don't think about it he'll be fine I've got Irish <laughs> um, you don't think about it it'll be fine Is but that- right then just as they're drinking the cup of tea, yeah. Jonathan Edwards pulls down a mask. <gasps> it's not Jennifer Edwards. It's Holy Linford shit. Christie. <gasps> what? Yeah. <laughs> and he's got a gun. He's like, right, put your hands up. Oh, I, mean, I, I know you've got gold under your bed from those days when you were a cricketer. <laughs> Makes uh, sense. Crickets or cricketers always yeah. have gold. It's a natural thing. But just then, you know. <laughs> Would you say he starts shooting stuff up? Yeah. <laughs> so... He's like, look, Liverford. What the hell? What's going on here? <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. So then Liverford Christie turns to the camera. No, he doesn't. He <laughs> just have a, has a wry smile on his face. Yeah. Puts Jonathan Edwards' mask face back on. Oh. After he's gone upstairs and retrieved that gold. Brilliant. Mm. Puts it in his postman bag, the gold. Yeah. And then jumps out the front door and... The end, and it's got poor Giles is just on the floor in a pile of blood. God, that is a twist ending to end all <laughs> twist endings. <laughs> May I just say? Oh, because <laughs> <laughs> that's what the audience will be doing when those credits roll. <laughs> so, have you got so, have you got a name for this masterpiece? Love jump. L- love love job. Love jump. Love jump. <laughs> Um, Do you reckon anything? Oh, the, the postman po- always. The postman's affair. The postman's affair. Jump to it, posty. <laughs> Jump into love. Jump into love. <laughs> I reckon I like jump into love. Jump into love. Yeah, uh, we'll go with that. Okay, uh, actors for uh, for Giles, Miles Jupp. I was thinking, oh, he's not a jo- Sting. Oh, and, oh, and he's been an old man, no. isn't it? Um, Who's the actor? Jimmy Nail. Jimmy Nail? He must be getting on now. He's not been in anything in ages. Is he definitely alive? He is, and he must be in his 60s, so he could probably... Oh, he could, he could play a little him. bit more makeup. Yeah. Um, Jonathan Edwards? Jonathan Edwards. He had an undisclosed age. <laughs> so who plays Jonathan Edwards? He, he he was originally 21, and then we decided that was too weird. Yeah. <laughs> then we never gave an age. I think he's in his 50s. Say his 50s. Okay. Um, late 50s. Late 50s. Who could play Jonathan Edwards? We've got Jimmy Nail as... Giles, the ex. What about like um? Teacher. Oh, it needs to be a someone from Newcastle as well. Well, not necessarily. Actors like, can do accents. Robert, Robert Carlyle's pretty good at act, accents. Robert Carlyle, mm. yeah, they could work. And sort then, of around and that then age. A cameo, because it. Oh, right, there was itself. no cameo. Yeah, but Linford Christie could just play himself. Oh, that's true. Actually, sports. yeah. Are we doing that? Are we bringing carrying that? Oh, over? yeah, of course we're carrying. Yeah. That. Or should we change it to something else rather than sports? Um, this isn't a new thing for the new season. Um, like maybe like a a musician cameo. Ah, Jay Z. Jay Z could easily play Linford Christie. <laughs> That'll do. Yeah, done. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right. So, do you want to give the summary if you can remember it? Yes. So, Giles Crickleworth. Crickleworth. Giles Crickleworth is an ex cricketer and ex teacher. He's a lonely man of 77, his wife having died 30 years ago. He tends to his garden and he awaits any social interaction with excitement. Mm. Be it the gas man or, in this case, especially the postman. The postman is Jonathan Edwards, former long jumper and gold medalist. Giles falls in love with Jonathan. um, And he reveals this in a story of longing and loneliness. Mm. Jonathan Edwards turns him down, only to reveal he's actually Linford Christie in disguise. Yes. And he he knows that Giles has some gold bullion under his bed. Mm. Where from? Who knows? Who knows? 
So he uh, murders Giles, mm. shoots him, takes the gold, and that is the end of the yeah of of the epic adventure, which is called. It's Jump, called Jump Into Love. Jump Into Love. Mm-hmm. Season two, episode one of this amazing podcast. Okay. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Is it, is it night? If it's night where you are, good night. when you're listening, if you're listening, if there's anyone out there, please let us know. Good night. <laughs> All right, see ya. See ya. Thank you for listening to the podcast. We release a new episode each week. If you would like to support the podcast, please share with your friends and write a review on iTunes. You can also follow our social media. We are LWAM Pod on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. That's L W A M Pod. Thank you.